<laughs> anyway, Ron, tonight we've got uh, Bill Parcells still interested in coaching? Maybe. And bully for the Yankees. They sign a big one for $25 million plus. Got some money out there spending it. Maybe the Yankees, huh? Uh, I'm spending a few bucks tonight, uh, or today, I should say, Rowland. After doing virtually nothing all went the long, Yanks did something big time today. They signed free agent outfielder Danny Tartable to a five-year deal, believed to be worth $25.5 million. The 29-year-old slugger is a six-year vet, having spent the last five with the Kansas City Royals. His numbers for KC in 1991, a 316 batting average, 31 homers, and 100 RBIs. Some pretty impressive numbers, especially when you consider the fact that he had less than 500 at-bats, 484 to be exact. Plain and simple, this guy hits, and he does it with power, and hopefully for the Yanks and the fans, he'll continue to do so. I chose the Yankees because, it's to me, it's... Uh, I, I like I like the, the the competition. I like the the, the idea of of, of uh, you know everything that New York represents. Um, it's a challenge to me. It feels good. It definitely feels good, and um, it's been a lot of a lot of lot of work for for Danny Tartable. And I, you know, a lot of people may not know that, but you know I'm I'm very grateful and 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 happy that it's all come down to this. And uh, now. I can say it's time to play ball. We think he'll make us a better ball club. He also gives us some uh, versatility and some maneuverability uh, to make other moves. And uh, we all know that we need some pitching, and it's one of the things we're going to consider. Which outfielder might the Yanks trade for a good pitcher? Well, remember this. To get something good, you've got to give up something good. Roberto Kelly and Bernie Williams are both something very good. If the Yanks have to give up one of them, I say it'll be Williams. Now, uh, according to Yankees... New managing general partner, Daniel McCarthy, the signing of Tartable came about from the team effort of Gene Michael, Joe Malloy, and Hal Steinbrenner. Hal, of course, is the son of George Steinbrenner, while Joe Malloy is his son-in-law. But who really pulled the trigger on this deal? Was it old George himself? After all, he's negotiating with the commissioner to be reinstated, and all of a sudden, after a winter of zero spending, more than $25 million is made available to get Tartable. So speaking to George over the phone earlier this evening, I told him flat out, he looks like the real deal maker here. I'm certainly not going to take a chance after a year and a half of not having anything to do with the operations along the lines of the, the uh, uh, mandate. I'm certainly not going to take a chance in the waning hours of doing anything like that. So that's number one. Number two, I'm not sure I'd have paid him that much money. He's a great ball player. I think he's an outstanding great ball player. But I'm not sure I would have paid him that kind of money. And uh, my son and son-in-law and Stick are a little freer with my money than I might have been. And number three, you know, if, if I wanted to come back with a big fanfare, the way to do it, if I, could, if I was coming back right away, would be to wait and then do the signing. So, you know, uh, and make it sound like, gee, uh, George is back and he's done all this and great, we told you, you know. But I didn't. I think George would have spent the money, but there's one other thing wrong with his logic there. George couldn't wait until his return to baseball to sign Audible because as a free agent, Danny would have signed with somebody else. He wasn't going to wait for George. He wanted the money, and he wanted it now, and he's got it. All right, what do you say we now move on to the ice over at the Garden tonight where the Rangers were home against the Winnipeg Jets. First period, no score. Tony Amante with the puck, skating around, falls down, gets it over to James Patrick, takes the shot with Captain Mark Messier catching in the rebound to make it 1-0 Rangers. Then after Jeff Bukaboo made a 2-0 Rangers strike again in the first period. Sergei Nemchinov on a fine second effort beats Bob Asensa. That made it 3-0 Rangers, 4-2 the final at the Garden. All right, from the ice at the guard, let's now move on to the hardwood over at the Meadowlands tonight. Nets were looking to snap a two-game losing streak against the L.A. Clippers. Third quarter we go. Sam Bowie with the ball to a cutting Mookie Blaylock. Up and in for two of his 20-75-63 Nets. Also with a good game for the Nets tonight, Terry Mills. Watch here. Chris Morris to steal to Bowie. Back to Mills, up and in for two of his 17 to go along with 12 rebounds. Playing for the injured Derek Coleman, 77-65 Nets. The Clippers, however, then managed to pull within four, but rookie Kenny Anderson connected on a couple of Jays. He has one of them, Nets 90, Clippers 82. Nets go on to win by 15, 105 to 90. All right, football business. Get a load of this. I've learned tonight the uh, Tampa Tribune is reporting in tomorrow morning's edition that Bill Parcells is still interested in becoming head coach of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. According to the paper's report, 
Bill apparently called owner. You called the house early today to talk it over. Folks, this is beginning to sound a lot like a clear case of you can take the man out of coaching, but you can't take the coaching out of the man. It's in Bill's blood. We'll wait and see what happens tomorrow. Uh, one other football note here, Tom Flores is the new head coach of the Seattle Super... It's not supersonic, Seattle Seahawks. He's also the president and GM there in baseball business. GM Larry Doty today fired by the Pittsburgh Pirates. And finally, a Big East uh, college basketball score for you, Georgetown 70, Providence 63. Busy night in sports. You know, we, Friday you said Parcells wasn't going to do anything. I mean, well, he made that decision over the weekend, but I mean, Bill said we he were wasn't going to do anything. Sure. Well, you reported that. Yeah. Well, you know, he again, he re, he said that again Saturday on the air during his uh, right. football telecast. Uh, again, this is not rock solid, definite that it's going to happen, but that's what I've been told by a couple of sources. It's going to be reported in tomorrow's paper. I really mm. believe Bill just can't make up his mind. And I think, I I'm beginning to think he doesn't want to coach, mm. but it's in his blood and he can't shake I it. I love it. All right. We'll, see. we'll wait and see. All right. Thanks, Russ.